truth hurts, don't it? Let me guess. You're thinking of taking me out like the others. And, huh? Is this your home? Pathetic. Here's 30,000. Now tell me where Rose is. Uh... -oh. Heisenberg is an exquisite chess player, and Bella always loved to play with her uncle. She became quite challenging over the years. King and bishop against you, uncle! Now, say what's left of your dignity and lay down your king! Oh, in your face! You stop that look! Donna is very good at sewing, and since Elsina has been growing due to her mutation over the years, Donna helps her by fixing and widening her clothes. Three days ago it was a perfect fit. Then, Daniela and Cassandra brought this furry, four-legged creature home, and the last thing I remember is going straight to my hips. It took three days, Donna. Three days and a sudden sitting to ruin another dress. Thank goodness I have you. I want a woman that could crush my head in between her thighs. Mother Miranda deserved it. Thank you for everything. Don't smoke while Rose is here. Mother. You'll be fine. Do you want to hold Rose? Mm. Yes. Out here living my best life. Uh, Heisenberg is drowning. This ain't about him. You and me, Ethan. Together, we can go save Rose, and then we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. You know what? Fine. Let's do this. Good choice, Ethan. Take that! Take that! Take that! 
Vil. What does this mean? What the hell does Vil mean? Aren't we supposed to have the initials of our country on our shirts for the Olympics? It stands for village, as we are from the village. A village is not a country, Morrow. Hell, as far as I know, it's not even a city. Mother said that's because they never said where our village really was. Oh, come on. Anyone with two brain cells can look up and see it's a regional dish from... from... How are you doing that with my mouth? That, my dear brother, is the redacted sound, which means... Never mind how I'm doing it! And so he did, while complaining the whole time. For the whole day. Mother Miranda's gonna love you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Come on, Papa, wake up. The meeting's about to start. Wake up, Buttercup. Oh. He's, uh... Huh. Uh, Miranda, give this one to me. I want him. Oh, I think not. Ugh. Where are those kids when you need them? Ah, Cassandra Demetresque. Finally, I've been looking for you for hours. What a marvelous piece you've brought me, Ethan. Cass. You listen here, you little shit. Welcome to the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. This year we are proud to induct a new nation upon our ranks, a small, independent city-state in the far east of Europe, going by the initials of VIL. This year we will be featuring such events as fencing, oh, swimming, <coughs> rhythmic gymnastics, Please! hammer throw, <laughs> Shooting? FBI, open up! And a massive Olympic torch! Yes! A massive Olympic flame! are already dead. What? Yeah, sorry to break it to you, but 
A creepy little girl in a dreamscape already beat you to it. As if my heart in someone else's hands wasn't clue enough. I mean, holy crap. Seriously? Pride and Prejudice? The 2005 one? Uh, yeah. It's a good movie. With a great score in cinematography. The women here are given agency. And the inequality isn't romanticized just to make a romance story. And it doesn't pull any punches. Mr. Darcy is not immediately rewarded or absolved by the movie. And is humbled greatly many times. He messes up many times and has to actively learn to check his ego. Hubris. Right! And also, Elizabeth learns about the whole of a person and to break from idealism to become more a thoughtful person so that by the end... Exactly! I don't know I have questions pride and prejudice. What is happening? Damn it, Wade! Previously. I caught another pest poking around. He's been hired to assist you. Stop trying to kill him, Carl. I don't need you poking around in my factory and telling Miranda what I'm doing. The virus I have affects my lungs. Gas inside said lungs is filled with eggs. Eggs that you have all breathed in. Lord Heisenberg. We need to talk. Miss Angie, please, you need this. I don't need a serum. I'm porcelain. Oh, oh dear, that's not good. <sighs> this is why you should listen to me, Angie. Lord Heisenberg, we need to talk. You seem to have a stray dog problem. I was attacked by about five of them coming here. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Well, I did not count on being sore tomorrow. <laughs> As they say, a pain in the ass. Am I right? Why are you really here? Oh, not this again. As I stated before at the dinner, I am here to- No. Here in the village. <sighs> you are the smart one out of them. The truth is, I'm here to find someone. <laughs> so you're the owner of that big brute. Show me. Right this way. Watch your step. And don't touch anything. I see you've been keeping busy. Is this what you're looking for? She took a lot of damage. Needed a heart transplant. <laughs> I was just about to start adding the pieces needed for her to join my metal army. 
Heisenberg. You will fix her, and it will be the only thing you do to help her wake up. You're not going to tell me what to do. This is my house. Oh, Carl. You haven't been paying much attention, have you? Let me illuminate you upon the precarious situation in which you have found yourself. I don't care about your mommy issues or your little tiny rebellion. So I'm going to cut you a deal. I'm going to hunt someone. Someone that will assist you. And in return, you be a good little boy. You play your part and try not to do anything stupid. Unless you want the others in your metal army to turn. Before you get smart, let me say one more thing. This may be your village, but you're all in my web. And the best part is, you all walked in it on your own. tear up our courtyard. Yeah, I did. Catch you later, kid. Let me try one. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Sure, help yourself. Mmm, tasty. Next time you're getting your own meal. <laughs> You scared him. Though it took a while for the other lords to warm to Lady Dimitrescu's daughters and their unusual conception, the small community ultimately came to accept them. After all, they were hardly the strangest things they had ever seen, especially in the case of House Beneviento. Although even after that, they noticed that some of them were stranger than others. Did you get any Bandai figures? Heisenberg said they'll arrive next week. Okay. Despite their mother's misgivings, the Demetrest daughters found themselves getting closest to their uncle Moreau. His only way to experience the world outside of the village was through TVs and movies, and it was also theirs. You girls don't have to waste your day on an old crocker like me. We like watching new movies with you, Uncle Moreau. 
You girls are too bright. This TV is too bright. Salvatore Moreau was unfortunately ostracized by his peers, not only due to his deformity, but also for his incontinence and his neediness. Eventually, this led to him acting on a constant desire for approval of others. However, on his most fortunate of nights, his dreams would give him a reprieve. A reprieve of whimsy, and amongst his greatest desires was time with Mother Miranda, a good story, and of course, a race car bed. Before Mother Miranda, Alcina Dimitrescu was a jazz singer who toured around Europe, the Americas, and the Far East, before settling down in her home village to grow old. However, as befalls many in the entertainment business, she grew dissatisfied with the looks she was aging into, and, as they say, had some work done. Not her daughters, not even her asshole brother Carl, had the heart to tell her that they didn't like it. Lady Dimitrescu lived a life of luxury and hedonism up in her castle. But even she bristled beneath the control of Mother Miranda and had certain rules and certain things she simply couldn't do. Some mornings, even the great Lady Dimitrescu would wish she could go back to sleep because only in her dreams could she do whatever she wanted. While Lady Dimitrescu gave up music a long time ago, no one was particularly surprised that she still retained an interest in it. More surprising, however, would be the fact that she found newer styles of music much more relatable. <laughs> Wait a second, you tricked me! Casablanca in a thriller? I didn't trick you, Carl. I was just helping you broaden your horizons. I'll broaden your head! <laughs> now that was much more thrilling. <laughs> I told you to wash up. I want you presentable to be introduced to the others. Well, here we go. Wait, I think you missed some on Daniela. As promised, we're here to see your bug call. Don't call them that! Where's Moreau? I have a bag to hide his ugliness from my girls. I haven't seen him. Madonna? I asked you to please leave your doll home. I don't want my girls to think you're creepy. Come on! We need each other. I'll stay hidden. They won't see me, I swear. Fine. Fine. 
and show your face. Uh, hmm. I know I have one. Can you hurry up and move your fun bags? Found it! Much better. Now, let's meet the girls. All of this for your flies. Donna, Carl, these are my wonderful, darling little angels. Bella, Cassandra, and Daniela. Which one is which? I won't remember due to my concussion. Girls, this is your Aunt Donna and Uncle Carl. Yeah, hi, whatever. Nice to meet you. Man blood. <laughs> no, girls, you can't eat that one, sadly. So who's this? Let me down! Oh, that must be Mother. Mother Miranda! I'm so happy you could... Oh, shit, it's you. Hi. Sorry, I'm late. I stopped by Dukes to get the gift. Oh, is that them? Um, uh, Mother, what is this hideous thing? And why is it trying to touch us? I'm so happy you finally meet <laughs> My floor! I'm sorry, but maids. I made you a puppy. Uh, should we be concerned? He said he made that. How? And can you make more? Do we need to keep that? You get your looks from him. We look the same! Despite their eventual mutual animosity, Mother Miranda and her adopted children did make attempts to be an actual family in their earliest years together. For obvious reasons, the longest remembered of these attempts were the annual family photo. However, it proved to be the beginning of the end when they allowed notorious cinephile Moreau to choose the theme one year. delivered this letter. It smells like German machinery. Dear Ethan Winters, I love your work. Oh no. Can we join forces to destroy Mother Miranda? I think we should be friends. Also, I drew a picture of us in Rose. Write me back. Love Heisenberg. <laughs> Bringing new animals into the house can be a tricky transition. You need to feed them, make sure they are cared for, and possibly groom them, etc. And depending on their species, they may bring you various gifts. But depending on your personal taste, that may not be a problem. Even as a child, the future habits and activities of one Carl Heisenberg was already on full display. Tinkering with his toys and possessions, the seeds of his future experiments and inventions were obviously taking hold. However, this could often come at the detriment of his siblings. Has anyone seen my soldier doll?
Here at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics, we are proud to induct a new nation upon our ranks, a small, independent city-state in the east of Europe, going by the initials VIL. Their first ever Olympians have been undergoing extreme training, and their preparation and commitment have known no bounds, assuming they remember they're competing at all. Come sit with me, mother. Let's watch which country will win this year. Did I forget something? I'll see. How can you say we won? This piece of shit beat us up like a bunch of amateurs. Damn it all. Well, dear brother, we are indeed looking a bit battle-worn, but we are still here and the mortal is not. Whatever you did to him, Mother Miranda, I'm certain it must have been a spectacle to behold. How did it feel? to Bella making brownies funny brownies what's funny about them want to try one no 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 your last ones were way too strong not even a small piece all right fine one bite it was pot it was pot brownies that's the joke After the exposure of the village, Lady Dimitrescu became an instant internet sex icon. Something that, in hindsight, didn't particularly surprise her, but did oddly make her disappointed in humanity. What did surprise her, though, was who her new status could connect her with. Jesus Christ, okay? I like, I've, how many times have I said, I want a woman that could crush my head in between her thighs. Any part of her body could crush my head. And I know the part that you're thinking of, and that's just one of several options. And Jesus fucking, look at her. What the hell? No one told me. And look at her. What the hell? What T-virus went into making that? Because that's unbelievable. Look, I'm not, I, I'm Oh my god, look, she got Freddy Krueger hands. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Play yeah! Ah, wow. uh, damn it. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> there you are. <sighs> okay, anyway. But you gotta understand something primal. I'm all for strong, strong characters, male or female. Look at this guy. Hi. So it runs in the family. I swear, you're gonna love what I got cooked up for next time. Heisenberg, do you have any idea what time it is? For God's sake, people are trying to sleep. Oh, did I interrupt your nap? Normally I'd call it beauty sleep, but that clearly hasn't been working. I have no words for your such... I have no words for such crassness. So take this instead, you discourteous oaf. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
Donna, would you pretty please, with sugar on top, please flip off Big Head for me? Varog? That's, uh, n no, no, that's Romanian, that's right. I'm so sorry, Lady Dimitrescu. You're the best! You're forgiven. Heisenberg, on the other hand. Uh, daughters, I need you to escort Mr. Heisenberg off our property again. Here we go. Ah, uh, nuggets not again. We gotta get the hell out of here. We gotta get the hell out of Dodge, Donna. definitely captured my astounding good looks. Did you get my eye color right? People always get it wrong when they... Uh, Donna? What is this? Oh my god, I don't know what happened. I swear it wasn't like that before. <laughs> Angie! I'm going to punt that little shit into the sun for this, but I do kind of like it. As a porcelain doll, Angie always found the processes of organic beings curious and often asked sometimes inappropriate questions to those around her, including topics such as sweating, pooping, and sex. But what she found most curious of all was how humans could seem to change shape. You're fat! Bok 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 b